Hi right, guys, how are you? <clears throat> My name is Swin Titanium. Welcome back. So let's uh, let's talk about the stupid shit that MMT says that the Fed has the brake and the gas backwards. God, I love that one. Okay, so let's hear uh, from the man himself. Let's let's hear it. Or to uh, slow down inflation or slow down the economy. In fact, yeah. modern monetary theorists are basically of the mindset that, no, no, it shouldn't be the Federal Reserve. It should be taxation and spending that control the economy. Okay, let's pause right there. Of course, it's taxation and it is um, spending that's going to create the inflation. That Definitely, okay? But if that money is flowing to the savings bubble, you're not going to get any inflation. I don't give a shit, you know, what's going on. I mean, of course, at certain... At a certain level, if you're just spending and spending and spending and spending, of course you're going to get inflation because what's going to happen is nobody's going to buy the bonds anymore. Monetary inflation is going to start to kick in. Okay, so when he's saying that, well, interest rates are, you know, they're they're no good. Okay, they're useless. The Fed, you know, doesn't do shit. Well, listen to what he says afterwards because this this is interesting. Yeah, that, that, that's true, but it's even more than that. Like okay. John Kenneth Galbraith said 20 years ago, when he wrote his book, he said, the Federal Reserve has never gotten us into a recession, and they've never gotten us out. Right. He's right. Well, he never got us into it and never got us out of it. Okay. But what happens is the Fed monetary policy um, is is a trim tab on an elevator. Okay. It, it's, it's, it adjusts, fine-tunes the economy in terms of spending. It's not a, it's not as powerful as taxation and uh, spending and deficits. Of course not. Nobody ever said that. So right there, full of shit. Okay. And I'll show you later how monetary policy does affect the economy. But let's continue listening. It's just what they do has like no effect in the economy, at least not in what they're trying to do. So. When they're supposedly tightening, that never slows the economy down. When they're supposedly stimulating, it never picks up. And, you know, we've been saying this for a long time, that, that monetary policy just plain doesn't work. It's a tool that's not connected to anything. It's a little kid with a car seat with a steering wheel who thinks he's driving. Why? Okay. Little kid in a steering wheel thinks he's driving. So why is he for ZERP then? You see what I'm saying? ZERP is zero interest rate policy. Why? If he has no effect, it's just a little kid with a fucking steering wheel. Why is he for ZERP? <sighs> you see, again, it's this marketing. It's this bullshit of uh, fake MMT. And when you really know what to listen for, it starts to click. So let's, let's, uh, let's continue here. Actually, I mean, the Fed is in our headlines yeah. virtually every day, Warren. Yeah, well, you know, I've been saying for a long time, it's just a mistake. You know, they've mistaken yep. correlation and causation. They're not controlling anything. And if you look back oh, okay. at uh, Volcker's times, it was what brought the inflation down. Well, oil, before his, yes, he raised rates, but the price of oil dropped from like 40 to 10. Now, today, if that ever happened, we got that big of a drop of oil. Let's say it dropped from um, you know, where it is now, 60 to 50. We'd have a massive deflationary event. Okay. Newsflash. Oil went from 150 all the way down to 21. Did we have a massive deflationary event? No. So what is he talking about? Oh, yeah, it was oil back in the 70s. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. I mean, of course, it had an effect. There's, there's no doubt about it. But to say, well, that's that's why it happened, that's bullshit. That's absolute bullshit. Okay, he's just pulling shit out of his ass. Right. Okay, CPI would be negative for months, year over oh, yeah. year, everything. Sure. Mm -hmm. Back then, what happened? Inflation went down slowly over 10 years. And, and again, you know, what did you say? Well, if it goes from 60 to 15, dude, it went from fucking 150 all the way down to 121. And it stayed uh, at, at, at 40, 50 for a while. Did we have uh, months of negative CPI? No, of course not. He's full of it. Why? Because... Volcker had, Chairman Volcker had the interest rates so high, the interest rates were prolonging the inflation, they were causing it to linger, they were adding to the inflation because the, the government itself is a big net payer of interest. It pays. Okay. <laughs> you, 
it was a little kid with a steering wheel thinking he's driving a car, and now suddenly the Fed, by having the interest rates so high, is prolonging the inflation. What the fuck? And that's in the same interview, okay? Like, didn't the guy pick up and say, wait a minute, I thought you said there was a kid uh, with a steering wheel, right? So now suddenly, oh, yeah. Yeah, central banks now suddenly do affect them, but they don't affect them the way you think they affect them. They affect them backwards. Jesus. Pays interest today on 22 trillion of public debt, mm-hmm. and that's like that's like an allowance for the economy. That's like uh, you know basic income. It's you know for people who already have money. It's just okay. Basic income for people that already have money, right? He said it himself. That's that's what it is, right? So. <sighs> Let's continue. That's for the economy. That's like, uh, you know, basic income. It's, you know, for people who already have money. It's just free money that's paying all this interest that it's paying. It adds to the deficit, and it's just free money. And that prolongs the inflation. It's- it adds to the deficit, and it prolongs the inflation. I thought the, the central bank didn't do anything. Isn't our deficit our income, our black ink, our savings? Now it's prolonging the the inflation? And so I, I was around back then while Volcker was doing this, you oh, know, wow. trading well, the market. That, that gives you the credibility then. And, you know, and it was clear to me what he was doing was prolonging it, not curing it. But no, nobody's paid any attention up until recently. Now the Wall Street Journal article you're talking about is finally said, yeah, we've been right all along. So it's, it's, it's nice to see that after 25 years. <laughs> it's been right all along. The Fed has... Ha, uh, is a kid with a steering wheel, and he's right all along because it prolongs inflation. You yeah, can't make this shit up. Seriously. Let me show you something. This is back in the uh, 90s, okay? And it, if you go further back, it, it doesn't even account for credit cards because nobody had credit cards. I mean, they did, but they, they weren't so so popular. So they started recording around the, the mid-90s, Okay. The interest rate back in the 90s, it was about 6% on the Fed fund rate. And credit cards were about 16%. All right. What happened? Interest rates came down, and so did credit card uh, uh, interest payments. Now, then what happened? Interest, uh, the Fed fund rate went back up again, but credit cards did not. And the reason they did not was because everybody was using their home as an ATM uh, in 2004 and so on. Okay, so they they remained around 13 and a half percent. Then the, the the financial crisis came, popped back up, and then dropped. Okay, uh, the the Fed's fund rate was virtually zero. So it came down, and then they started to raise rates in 2015. You can see it right here. What happened to interest rates? Started to go back up. Why? Why did it go back up? What, what does that mean? If you are carrying a debt on your credit card and suddenly you have to pay more interest to carry that debt, that leaves you with less discretionary income. If you have less discretionary income, you cannot consume as much. If you're not consuming as much, what happens to the economy? It starts to decelerate. What happened to delinquency on credit cards? Look at that. Right in 2015, as rates started to rise, so did delinquency. Okay, it's not a big deal, okay, but it does have an effect on the real economy where the 95% live. What happened to no auto loans, right? The interest rate started to rise. So a monthly car payment now costs more than what it used to cost in 2015. Why? Because interest rates have risen. But the Fed has no effect. It's just, you know, doing nothing. And then it is doing something, prolonging the inflation, and then it is giving money, free money to the to to the savers, but it's interest income to the economy, so that's a positive because it's our savings. The man doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. He's just flip flopping all over the place, says one thing, does another thing, and means there's something completely different. That that's that's MMT for you. That that's why everybody's making fun of him. And that's what I've been telling you for years. That these guys, they're just, it's just marketing. They'll tell you whatever you want, depending on the fucking argument. And, and that's it. Uh, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. And, you know, again, don't get fooled by these uh, MMT tards. Take care.
Bye-bye.